It's your boy TD and I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports. And today's video is going to be on the top five route runners in the NFL. Yes, I said it, guys. The top five route runners in the NFL. So, I'm not going to waste time. Let's get started. You might not agree with me. Guys, hit me up in the comment section and let me know who your top five route runners is in the NFL. And also, guys, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge information, guys. So, let's get started. So, guys, my first guy that I'm going to talk to you about is my homie, and you might not like it, is Travis Kelsey. Yes, I said it. Travis Kelsey. To me, he's the number five route runner in the NFL, even as a tight end. I said it, guys. Just go back and watch his film. It's unbelievable. So, this is the reason why I believe he's a top five route runner in the NFL, guys. His dance moves. Travis Kelsey is almost like a brother, guys, when it comes to dancing. And you can see it on the field, the way he set guys up. Yes, dancing. And also, guys, he was a good basketball player. I think he could have played D1 basketball. So, guys, when you can dance and you know how to set people up with the feet work, it's, it's going to be in your game, and you can see it on the NFL field. He's not out running everybody like he's running a 4-3, like he's Vernon Davis from back in the day from Maryland. No, he's just basically like setting you up. You don't know where he's going to go right, left at any time. He'll option route you to death. It is unstoppable one-on-one. -on -one. Now, you can contain it like Levante David. Give him a thumbs up for that. But, guys, this guy is unbelievable with his route running. So, like I said, guys, so listen, this is I'm giving you a golden nugget right now. When you like looking for when you watching the combine and you look watching guys and you see a guy that he be dancing and he's smooth with it and you know he just you know he you know he, I don't care what the color or where it is, it doesn't matter. But you know, I call Travis Kessler because he just reminds me of like a brother. He's he got a lot of soul in him, right, guys? You know what I'm saying? This is no no disrespect or anything like that. I just I it's a compliment. And so you would see a guy that he can dance and then he can play basketball. He can cross you over and dribble. This guy's probably going to be a great route runner. I said what I said, guys. So I'm going to move on, guys, uh, to my next guy. And some of you might agree with this, and I think you should, guys, because this guy is nasty now. And it's my homie, Calvin Really, That is my number four route runner in the NFL. Yes, I said it. Calvin Really. Now, let me tell you why I think Calvin really is one of the best route runners in the NFL, guys. Guys, don't you know that Amari Cooper, which is, I think he's a tremendous route runner, was there before Calvin. So when Calvin got there, all the coaches told him, like, man, watch Amari, watch Amari. And this guy already had the tools to be a great route runner. And he took that energy, guys, and took it to a, a great level. You know, so I'm not gonna say he took it to above Mari or anything like that, but it was it was up echelon. So Calvin, really, guys, I believe playing alongside of, of Julio Jones, which is a good route runner too. He's a solid route runner, a top 10, 15 route runner in the NFL. But Calvin, really, guys, being the number two receiver is almost unstoppable when he's getting guarded by the second corner, because you know the number one corner is going to Julio Jones. So the number two corner, you're going to be dealing with a guy running option routes from the slot and also from the outside. So I think Calvin really is a tremendous route runner. I watch him all the time. Um, and certain times, you know, when I play DFS and stuff like that through the season, guys, if he has a weak corner on him, then I'm going to – I'm most likely picking him up. And I know that he's going to get eight to nine targets because they're going to be double teaming Julio. And so I believe he's going to have a big uh, year this year, guys. So I'm giving you a golden nugget. Calvin really should be protecting off your board. I don't know. I, it depends on your draft. I'm not going to give you a round, but you go get this guy because he's going to get a lot of targets. He, he's going to have 100 catches this year. And Julio still is going to have a good, as long as he stay healthy. You know, Julio's getting on the, up uh, in the age a little bit. But, uh, yeah, Calvin's learned from Julio too, but it took it to route run. I think he's a better route runner than Julio. I said what I said. I said what I said, guys. Yes. Uh, Calvin really is a better route runner. I said it. Um... 
He's, you know, he's a little, he's more, he's not as fast, he's not bulky, he's not as strong as Julio. He's not a better receiver than Julio. I don't think he'll never, he never will be. But, guys, his savviness in running routes through watching Amore Cooper and the Alabama um, coaches drilling that in him, you can basically, you can see this. It's, it's easy, guys. So, let's move on, guys. I'm not going to hold you up on Calvin Ridley. My number three route runner, guys, in the, um, in the NFL – Okay, let me get, get this up. Is And a lot of you might agree. Some of you won't. Like I said, hit me up in the comment section, guys. And also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep giving you cutting edge information, guys. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up button on this video. Amari Cooper himself. Yes, I said it. I hit you with a little bit of smoke and mirrors right there. Yes, Amari Cooper is my number three route runner in the league. Look, and I love Dallas. So I'm not just saying that because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. But, guys... Uh, Maury Cooper, um, he, guys, he, he just a great route run. He always have been. Since he came in as a freshman, Alabama, he was like, right after Julio Jones, um, came through, Amore came in right after him, and his route running was impeccable as a freshman. They had said they had never seen a freshman that could run routes like that, guys. Um, I don't have a lot of background on why he's a great route runner. Some guys are just, they just savvy like that, man. Um, or he's fast too. He's not, you know, he's not the slow receiver. He's a 4-4 receiver, but his route running is very, I love him. I think they, sh I think Amore should go in the slot. I think we need to put other guys on the outside and I think we should target Amore in the slot more. I think he should be used like a slot receiver because of his route running. I don't think nobody can guard him when he's running option routes from the slot. Because, you know, the really, guys, I'm going to tell you, the hardest position, that's why Tyron Matthew is so good, because he's a very great inside corner. When you have to guard great receivers that can run great routes and in the slot, guys, that's very, very hard. That is, is very, very hard. So, Maury Cooper, guys, running routes from the slot position is almost impossible. It's almost guaranteed for fantasy points, 30 points, 40 points. I said what I said, right? So, um... Guys, um, take Amari Cooper this year. Pick him up in your fantasy leagues. Um, Dak is coming back. We know what Dak is, so I'm I'm taking Amari Cooper. Um, t uh, he uh actually my first, let me see, about three years ago. Um, when I lost to, like my first round of playoffs, Amari Cooper had took me. Guys, he was having some duds, but he had a lot of forty points, fifty point game. Dak had a big year this year. That's why he want that big contract. But it's neither here. I'm not gonna get off topic on this video. But, yeah, guys, I love Amari Cooper. I think he's one of the best route runners. He's my number third route runner in the NFL. So, I'm not going to stay stuck on this guy. Let's, uh, let's get on to my next guy, guys. And I think every a lot of people is going to agree with me with this one. My number two route runner in the NFL, guys, Keenan Allen. Yes, I said it. Keenan Allen. Now, listen, guys. Keenan Allen is right up the road. He's he's Me and Keenan Allen is probably what? 25, 30 miles from uh from each other, guys. And we played around the same time. I think he's a little bit younger than me, just a little bit, about two years younger than me. But uh this guy, um, he played for a high school called uh Northwest Gifford. And they was brand new. And and so a lot of those athletes that came from like Dully, which Dully is a powerhouse in our state, and he moved over to a new school. And a lot of some of Dully players went there and they won a championship with Keenan. Allen, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, let me tell you, Kenan Allen played both sides of the ball. He was a safety. He was a great. He would knock your, guys, he would knock your head off. This back in the day was, there ain't no targeting. And Kenan Allen was a beast. So guess where, he, guess where he got a scholarship from? He didn't get a scholarship from, he went to Cal. But guys, don't you know, he went to Alabama. So this is the story, because I know a lot of guys from around the way, they, they, they talk about the story. He went to Alabama and he played safety. And, guys, he was out there playing against guys like, you know, I think Julio, um, some of those guys. And, and he was playing against linebackers that ran fast, that was faster than him. He was like, and these guys, they wasn't, like, looking at Kenny like he was a good player. They was like, man, you you know, you a slower guy. You got to develop, into, and then we'll put you on the field your junior, senior year. And Kenny knew he was better than that. So, Kenny sat out. He asked to, he sat out his whole uh, freshman year, and he transferred to Kyle where he came the great receiver. So he know he wasn't as fast as everybody, guys. So he know he had to learn how to run great routes. 
And this is what this guy does. Guys, and he's an extremely great, one of the best route runners I ever saw, you know. Um, I'm talking about top 10 of all time. He's very savvy because he's not fast at all. He's like a 4'6", high 4'5 guy. And I love Keenan Allen. Um, he's a target king. Um, he won a lot of people probably their leagues this year. Um, where, you know, he phased out a little bit at the end because he had some injuries. But with Justin Herbert, Justin Herbert was looking for him 90% uh, of the time. I think we all know that. Um, but, yeah, um, guys, so I just want to give you that background of what, uh, what happened with Keenan Allen. How he, you know, wasn't as fast, and Alabama was like not giving him no playing time, and he transferred the cow. That's why guys, listen, do that. Sometimes you, um, you can stay at a place too long and think I'm gonna, I'm gonna prevail here. Sometimes you gotta go to somewhere else where the grass is greener, where they accept you for who you are, and maybe it's just a better fit for everybody. Maybe it wasn't a good fit for Keenan to be there. Maybe they had so many stars and, and they was looking for speed that Keenan, they weren't looking for Keenan, uh ability of watching how good he was at route running so i think they wanted him to play defense they wanted him to play safety because he was a good safety but they had other good safety they had safeties running four threes and four two twos and stuff and um so he wasn't really gonna get on the field that much so guys i'm gonna move on to my number one guy my number one route runner and a lot of you agree with this and some of you might not and some of you you might not say hey Ter uh td you didn't have the right guys um, on your list and that's fine like I said hit me up in the comment section and let me know guys and also subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna keep giving you cutting edge videos like this but my number one uh, route running guys in the NFL Devontae Adams duh right TD Devontae Adams Devontae Adams is a monster guys um I, so let me break this I think this is what I think what happened with Devonta. Why he became a great route runner and a great receiver that he is, guys. Don't you know when Devonte came when he got drafted to the Packers? Do you know that who was in front of him? And if I'm not mistaken, guys, it was Jordy Nelson, Greg Jennings, James Jones, and I think he might have even saw Donald Driver. All those guys was upper echelon receivers at a certain point in their careers. That's why Aaron Rodgers had great years his first year when he threw like 47 touchdowns and another 45 touchdowns. He hit them two years when he won the Super Bowl and then he went, they almost went undefeated the next year. Devontae Adams was on the bench. He couldn't get on the field the first three years because of Jordy Nelson and all those guys. And he learned how to be a savvy player. He was, he had a night, he was a big guy. Um, he could make plays. Um, but he, his speed wasn't like he wasn't a burner, right? But he didn't have to be Greg. He watched Greg Jen. He watched professionals come and play every day. That's why, guys, he's the number one receiver. And that's why Aaron Rodgers targeted him like that because he knows how to do it. That's why you have um, you have veterans in the locker room that show these guys. That's why you pay veterans even though they can't get on the field because your younger players will learn from them and that'll take their level up and you will get, you know, you'll kill two birds with one stone. And sometimes you get great talent, but you have no veteran there to teach them how to work and to do the little small things, and guys get pushed to the wayside and they never develop. Devontae Adams maxed out his potential. One of the best, one of the only, you know, there's only a few players that ever come out in history, guys, that max out their potential, like be the best that they can be. Like Jerry Rice was like that. Jerry Rice was the best. He wasn't the fastest or none of that. He was a good receiver, but he ran. It was, you know, he went on his field speed was like 4-2. But Jerry learned the small things, and he worked hard. And same thing with Devontae. He's a hard worker, and he learned the small things. So Devontae Adams is my number one receiver, guys. So, guys, look, I'm not going to hold you up um, on this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to – I thought having a, a, a top five route runners would help you in fantasy because you, you would kind of – when you got to make a decision between players – you go like, well, this guy runs better routes, so maybe I might need to take him because maybe he might get a few more targets, especially in PPR. So this is basically in PPR, guys, when guys get eight, nine targets, that's eight, nine points, right? One point per reception. So, guys, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button on this video and also subscribe to this channel, guys, because I'm going to keep giving you cutting-edge videos like this. Yes, I said it. Thank you. Have a blessed day.